Hey guys, I'm Shantanu Udasi back again with another video for Analytics India magazine recapping everything that has been happening in the world of artificial intelligence. I have gathered a few stories which range from self-driving cars to police robot dogs and a lot more. So let's just not waste any more time and jump right into our stories. Our first story is that Argo LiDAR has the industry's longest distance sensing range that can accurately identify and spot objects from 400 meters away. So Argo LiDAR is claiming that they have come up with the technology which can speed up the commercialization of autonomous cars and their research is suggesting that their artificial intelligence can sense objects in busy neighborhoods or long highways and it has a 360 degree awareness. So what is new about this technology is that Argo LiDAR works on Greiger technology which can sense any particle of light from a long distance. Therefore this system can detect vehicles that reflect less than 1% of light even at long distance in pitch darkness. It can also manage its sensors when it comes from instant darkness to light. It has also the capability of distinguishing static objects from moving objects. And its light sensing capabilities also help it to sense objects which have less reflectivity. Combined with wavelength operations above 1400 nanometer with Geiger mode sensing, Argo LiDAR has its unique capabilities. So Argo LiDAR is backed by Ford and Volkswagen and Ford would be the first to create autonomous vehicles using Argo LiDAR technology and they were supposed to launch an autonomous vehicle in 2021 but due to the pandemic it has been delayed to 2022. So time will tell us how this technology fares on the road. Moving on to our next story, our next story is about various examples of artificial intelligence being used to fight this pandemic in India. So organizations are leveraging machine learning software as a service and data analytics etc to fight the ongoing pandemic and here are the examples how. First of all artificial intelligence is very helpful in monitoring if people are following the necessary protocols or not. CCTV cameras equipped with artificial intelligence can detect in a jiffy if a person is wearing a mask or not. Therefore, it has been implemented in Madurai and Telangana and police have caught up to 47,000 people and collected close to 89 lakhs in fines. Artificial intelligence is definitely being used in diagnosis as we discussed a couple of episodes ago that DRDO have created this artificial intelligence algorithm that can detect presence of COVID-19 virus in a person's lung only by analyzing the x-rays. Therefore, it eliminates the need to get a CT scan. Therefore, it is very beneficial for rural areas where facilities like CT scan are not available. So various chatbots have been deployed across organizations, government and private in order to provide assistance and information to the people of India. A major role of artificial intelligence has been in repurposing drugs that were all already in use and to make it appropriate for this infection. So companies have been assessing the capabilities of hydroxychloroquine and remdesivir that were already available against COVID-19 using artificial intelligence. Delhi's Indraprasth Institute has also created an AI model that can be used for drug repurposing. This AI model computes the similarity between the chemical structure of a drug and the genomic structure of the virus post which it checks the historical information about the drug's efficacy on different viruses and selects the drug that has successfully treated viruses with similar genomic structure of COVID-19. Moving on to our next story, our next story is about the dark side of artificial intelligence and what are the top threats to the artificial intelligence industry and to public at large to watch out in the year 2021. So the first problem is that remote tracking and performance measurement. Artificial intelligence was deployed by a lot of companies to track whether their employees were working adequate time or not. So as we move on to the second half of 2021 with the pandemic still around and people still working from home we should consider certain questions if the employer is allowed to see everything on an employee screen or do they get insights to everything that the employee do in their apartment in their regular life too where is the distinction between work life and their regular life so a lot of companies are focusing on too much automation and they are not utilizing what they are going after. A lot of companies just invest willy-nilly in automation softwares but they fail to utilize them to their maximum potential. As a result, between 32 to 41% of what a company spends on software internally 
gets wasted. Therefore, the problem is that they are failing to integrate these automation softwares into the human process that was already in place. So before investing a lot into automation softwares, a company should figure out how to integrate it seamlessly with the human process already in place. So data privacy is an ongoing issue and it will continue for the foreseeable future as data is exchanged between so many companies it is going through so many hands and creating a private network of this data is close to impossible therefore data privacy and security breaches are a big threat to ai and tech industry so the threat of deep fake still looms large as we conduct our entire life now in front of cameras and in zoom meetings and this is a big threat that was developed by artificial intelligence and machine learning as more and more people are working from their home and they do not have anything except themselves in front of their camera there is no way to prove that somebody is someone else or what is going on in your zoom meeting at any point of time as this deepfake technology keeps evolving we increase the risk of physically harming humanity at large. Moving on to our next story, our next story is about Intel and its research to make video games look photorealistic. So Intel conducted this experiment with machine learning to make GTA 5 look like real life. So to begin with GTA 5 did not have any problems with it. It was very stylistic and the graphics were top notch. And another impressive aspect of Grand Theft Auto 5 was how closely the game San Andreas approximates to real life Los Angeles and Southern California. And this footage is closely reminiscent of the footage that you watch from the dash cam of a car. So this is the footage of how they enhanced and made it photo real. So this is the game very stylistic. The lighting is very stylistic. There is real tracing and all of that going on. But when you will see the real footage, yeah, so this is they tried to create and make it photorealistic but it was not based on Los Angeles and California hence the cloudy weather and the lighting is a bit off because of that. So the data that they fed to this neural network was a collection of pictures from German streets that filled in a lot of detail and hence we can see that the lighting and the atmosphere is not of Southern California but of Germany and its streets. So here are the images of cityscapes that were fed to the neural network and you can see that the neural network has mimicked the lighting and atmosphere of these cities to create a photorealistic image and this is addition to a lot of research that has been happening to create clear images using artificial intelligence where artificial intelligence creates the missing pixels that were not there in the original version moving on to our next story our next story is about the boston dynamic robotic dogs that are being used in the USA police force. So these Boston Dynamics robotic dogs were authorized to be police surveillance dogs in Hawaii, New York and Massachusetts. As a result, this created a lot of backlash, not only on the fact that they are creating this dystopian future, but also on the fact that they have invested this huge amount in a seemingly worthless investment about just surveillance. The American Civil Liberties Union in a position paper on community control over police surveillance proposes an act to promote transparency and protect civil rights and liberties with respect to surveillance technology. Till date only 19 cities have passed this law therefore a lot of other communities don't have the requirement that police are transparent about their use of surveillance technology in their area. They are urging a lot of other communities to pass this law so that you can analyze and have full transparency of what the police is investing in and how you are being looked at. When this robotic surveillance dog was deployed by New York Police Department in New York, the backlash was so large that they had to prematurely cut short their experiment. Therefore, NYPD issued an official statement and they quote, the NYPD will return the device earlier than planned after critics seized on it as a dystopian example of overly aggressive policing. Before investing a huge amount in robotic surveillance dogs, the police should have a transparent and open discussion with CCOPS explaining what the technology involves and how it will be used tomorrow and next month and potentially years from now. So that's about it. Those were all the stories that I have for you today. 
Thanks a lot for watching this video. Click on that thumbs up if you like this video. That really helps us a lot. These stories are worth reading in their entirety. Links for them will be in the description down below. And while you are at it, click on that subscribe button. And don't forget to push that notification bell so that you never miss any other updates from Analytics India magazine.